Well, speaking of meeting cool people, so I heard you met Prince, and we yes. have this thing on this show. Everybody has a Prince story. Yeah. I don't, but everybody else does. <laughs> and and it's I want to know, like, what was your experience? Um, my Prince story is that I got a meeting, like a general meeting to go meet with this director, and they said, and Prince. And I thought, like, Prince Johnson from Santa Monica or something. <laughs> And oh, so, you didn't know it was actually Prince that you I were had seeing? I no idea. Oh, that makes me so, sweat. I, me too. Yeah. Even now. And so yeah. I rescheduled the meeting twice because I had a bunch of stuff going on. They were like, you're either <laughs> you going to... You rescheduled on Prince? You on Prince? <laughs> I know. So the last time they were like, you're either coming or you're not. And I was like, Row, okay, I'm coming. So then oh I come to God. this meeting at this house. And as soon as I get on the elevator that's in the house, I'm like, what is an elevator in a house? The door is open and it's crushed purple velvet. <laughs> and I'm like... Wait, 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 wait. And so I look back at the director, I'm like, I'm fine. So, I'm fine. <laughs> and then the door closes and the ambulance right there. And I was like, <laughs> I'm flipping out. Like, I, I'm a, such a Prince fan. So Everyone is. I would be sweating so you, much. You just I, figured that out right before you met I him. I did not know what to do with myself. Oh, no. So then he comes out of the hallway. And she's like, Prince, Megan's here. And I'm like, what? So he comes around the hallway. He has on these little Chinese pajamas. And he has on, like, these three-inch heels. <laughs> hair's tied up, he's got his powder and his eyeliner. And he was like, would you like something to eat? And I was like, yes, yes. At my you, I just eaten. And so we go, we sit down and we're sitting at the table and he's like, do you want salad? And I was like, I would love salad. I hate salad. Now I'm better. I love I'm salad better. though. Now I do. But back then I was like, yes. And then he was like, okay. And then the person was like, well, do you want salad prints? And he was like, no. I was like, I don't want to either. And then it just sounded like I was like copying him. I was like, no, but I really don't. I don't really eat salad that much. It's okay. And then they brought out wine, and literally, as the woman's walking back in the kitchen, Prince is like, <clears throat> and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. She comes back out with a bright, um, bright green straw, like a child's straw, and folds it over for him and puts it in his red wine. And I was just like, okay. And I'm just watching like everything, and like the table's long, and he's at the head of it, and me and the director are at the other side. And I look down, and I can see his feet are about this far from the ground, and I can see him kind of going like that. <laughs> And then like he was like making little shapes on the table. It was the awkwardest dinner. And I had no idea why I was there and what was going on. And then by the end of it, he was like, I want to make this documentary about a young Malcolm X. And I want you to play the character. And I want to show it to you. And I was like, oh, OK. So then we watched a little bit of documentary that I left. And then I pulled down the street. And I called my mom. I was like, mom, I'm like screaming. And then I like literally, I'm like, can you hear me? And she's like, what happened? Did you get in a car accident? I can't understand oh, you. No. And I was like, no, I'm trying to say that I just met Prince. And so, yeah, best, best day ever. Can I? Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you that I'm actually still back where he asked for a bright green straw <laughs> yeah. with wine? Yeah, right. I was like, maybe he's a germaphobe. I don't know. I was, oh, I was trying to put gosh. it together. That's amazing. Yeah. I would, I'm like so weird. I wouldn't have been able to let that go. Yeah. The whole dinner, I'd have been like, Definitely. I probably would have had to have asked him. And that's why I've never met Prince. He knew. He knew. Don't invite that weirdo to my house. Um, have you ever met Prince? Did you ever meet him? No. Okay, yeah, we don't have cool stories. <laughs> yeah, I'm not cool either. Um, I, was like, I was like, everyone has one. It's crazy. Oh, I have a and, Prince story, but it doesn't involve meeting him. Oh, wait, I want to know the Prince story. You remember story. those little records? They were like 33 and a thirds back in yeah. the day. Yeah. So they used to give those out at bar mitzvah parties, like if you won the limbo contest. <laughs> I was 10 years old. It was like my older, it was my older brother's friend's bar mitzvah, and that was the prize, was Erotic City on 33. <laughs> now, if you listen to Erotic, <laughs> what? not appropriate for a 10-year-old. <laughs> It's my print story. I love that they gave that, that out. Pretty well. Y'all know how to party. <laughs> I was a really good limbo person. Yeah. <laughs> limbo and some prints. I love it.